Hey guys, welcome back to Minute Watch, and this is my SNZF 17 Grand Urchin mod. I got your Grand Urchin in my pants. What? I got your Grand Urchin in my pants. The hell does that mean? It's just, it's it's the biggest. What? Yeah, you have a you have a poisonous spiny sea urchin in your pants. That's right, bro. You know how we roll. I know how you roll like an idiot. That's how you roll. Only the best. Get the hell out of here. You're so stupid. You know, you, you remember what we saying about we pay the bills around here because your minute watch channel so is lame and it makes like four cents a year. Well, you know what? Actually, I found out that you guys only made $14 last month. Yeah, yeah, but because we had expenses, we bought a Ferrari XPU34 uh, space modulator. <laughs> did, did, did you say P34 space modulator like Marvin Martian? Yeah, I got nothing. Yeah, I got nothing. Yeah, okay, okay stupid. Whatever. Anyway, um, so I'm not going to really show you right now. First of all, uh, I uh, it started life out as a SNZF17, like every, everything else is a mod, is it's the base, the base model. Uh, here you go. And it's on a uh, really nice NATO strap from from uh, those guys right there. Yeah, kind of kind of having a brain. I can't brain right now, but really nice NATO strap. Then I popped out the crystal, and then uh, I popped in the new crystal. Then I put the uh, a new insert on, and then uh, I actually went ahead and I painted. The seconds hand, because I want it to be a little bit different, I thought I wanted to keep the, the stock dial uh, on the watch and then I put it all together. And it kind of came out nice, but I wasn't feeling it and uh, wasn't really feeling it and I felt like I needed to do more. So what I did was I had another watch laying around called the SND17. Is it SND? I think it might be SNDZ17. DZ17, that's... But uh, let me look that up later. So I put that whole shebang in this watch. And uh, let's make sure it's all nice and clean. Give it a nice wipey wipe. And there it is, guys. This is my SNZ. Oh, look at my face. Look at my face. Ah! This is my SNZF17 Grand Urchin Mod. So what we got here is we have the ceramic bezel insert from the DLW, DLW watches with the red pip reminiscent of the Black Bay. We have a a low uh, AR coated uh, sapphire dome, a low sapphire dome from Crystal Time Serology. And it's a single dome, so you get that AR coated reflection really nicely. I like that, you can really see it. and. Um, it is actually, I hate when I do that stuff. And it is actually super flush. There is not a single uh, point sticking out. This crystal is in there perfectly. And of course, that dial from the uh, SND17 or SNDZ17, I think. Whatever this is right here, that's correct. That's correct. Yeah, there you go. And uh, that's what I've done. I put it back on the original bracelet because I really like the original bracelet. I love the way this looks. And... Uh, I think I think this is really cool and why I call this the grand urchin well urchin for obvious reasons shaky shaky um, but grand urchin because I feel like it adds uh, some class to it a lot more a lot of classiness to this to this watch and uh, gives it a more a more of an expensive flavor naturally because of the mods that I've done but the dial itself is Really nice. I love that uh, red tip second hand. It matches the uh, the triangle around the pip on the top of the bezel, and um, <laughs> this is this is such a cool mod. Now the the uh, chapter ring and the the dial doesn't quite perfectly line up here. You see there? See how it doesn't quite perfectly line up? That's my bad. The chapter ring kind of got dislodged when I put it in there, but it's not so crazy. I can go there and go back in there and fix it later, but right now I'm not. I'm just not gonna. Just not gonna do anything about it. So let's let's put it on my wrist here. And uh, 
I I just I love wearing this this mod. It, it sparkles and shimmers, and it's really it's it's good. It's 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 real good. And um, total cost for this mod is not cheap. Um, you're looking at about 130, maybe 200, like 275 dollars at least to make this exact mod. But you know. That's what we do when we want to have things that basically nobody else has. When we want to be different, when we want to make it yourself, and uh, that's what we do. We spend money that we don't have. <laughs> so I keep getting asked questions like, why don't you put like aftermarket dials and why don't you change the hands? And um, that, that defeats the purpose of the Bliss mod uh, series that I do because loving it, Simply Seiko, it's, it's a way to do mods and make things your own without really having to deviate from the brand and it's really nice to have something that looks like it came from a store while you know that it simply didn't people who know watches will look at this and be like dude where did you where did you get that what what is that watch then they'll probably know that uh, you've either modded it or you've gotten something new that they haven't found out yet about yet though but I do like the uh, I do like the sword hands and I love again I love that uh, seconds hand with that red tip this is just this I love this is so much um, yeah so there's no loom around the the markers uh, your other watch had little markers around the indices so you're gonna have this the hour and minute hands and that pip the pip is actually kind of blue Oh, let's let's uh, let's show you. The pip is actually blue. I wasn't intending on doing that, but let me get a flashlight real quick. Um, oh, just dropped something all over the place. But let's get a flashlight. Turn off the lights. Give it uh, ISO a lot, and uh, massive lighting here, and that should be enough. There you go. So there you go. So there, you can clearly see that 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 pip is blue soft. So that is the blueness of bluner bluenery. Um, and now it kind of all just melds into the same color. That's weird. That's that's super weird. But you know, it's not it's not gonna be a, a loomy watch. That's those those hands are real good. I like that. That is glowing really nicely. That pip is also glowing pretty nicely too. So uh, good job, DLW watches. Anyway, um, so yeah, this is a very short video, and uh, thank you for thank you for coming and watching. By the way, my foot is not broken. It just got some major, like, torn stitch. Not major. Yeah, I lied. I made it up. It's not that damaged. I'm just being a bitch. It was sore. I had a boo-boo. <laughs> but anyway, um, stay tuned for the beauty shots. That's this watch. Thanks for, uh, you know, watching. Mm -hmm.